So last time we've got this beautiful triangle working and uh, the data for it is fed from our normal memory, from our mesh definition here, which is like uh, just a number of vertices. And this is all and good, but the problem is that we are only drawing the most primitive thing that we can draw, which is a triangle. And what if we want to draw a more complex mesh, like for example, a quad? that is already a more complex mesh because it has four vertices instead of three. So it doesn't sound like a big difference. However, uh, the graphics pipeline cannot really draw a lot of uh, different kinds of primitives, unfortunately. Uh, this is actually controlled here in the graphics pipeline. You can specify uh, some primitive types. And if you take a look at this enum, you see that it can only draw like a list of triangles or like a connected triangles or lines or connected lines or just points. Uh, there's no like quote. That means that to draw a quote, we need to draw two triangles basically. And this is something that we could actually do. Uh, so like maybe we can describe four vertices like this, right? This would be our left and maybe top. And then maybe we describe right and still top, right? Let's maybe say that is top left and then top right and then let's say a bottom right and maybe a bottom left right so the bottom right would be uh, this and this right and the bottom left would be this so we could do that uh, the problem is that we want to draw triangles and for that we could say all right let's draw six vertices instead of three but that would mean that we would need to supply six vertices and that would mean that we would uh, need to duplicate the data so we could try doing that so we have like top left to top right to bottom left for example that would be one and then from bottom left we could duplicate it and then maybe to top right and then to the bottom right if we do this uh, this would be a nice quote already but the problem is that, of course, we are duplicating the same vertices, right? Top right is and bottom left, for example, are duplicated. And if our mesh would be even more complex, like a, an actual character in the game or whatever, this would lead to a lot of duplication. So the solution for that is index drawing. So let's actually take a look at uh, other draw functions in the SDL. And if we type draw here, we would say draw index primitives instead of draw uh, primitives. So that takes a render pass and instead of number of vertices, that actually uh, takes number of indices. And what is an index? Well, index is basically just an index of a vertex in our vertex buffer, uh, which means that we can specify the same index multiple times and reuse the same vertex multiple times, which is exactly what we want. So let's think a little bit about this. So if we want to define our indexes, what we want to draw for a quad, let's say indices is a slice of, well, basically it's just numbers. It can be either 60 bit unsigned int or 32 bit unsigned int, depending on how much vertices do we want to include in a draw call. And yeah, here we basically specify which indices to draw. So if we follow this, we want to draw basically the same structure, but we maybe want to remove duplicates so top left to top right to bottom left. That would be as simple as a zero, one and two. And the second one could go from bottom left to top right to bottom right, right? So that would be two and then one and then three. So these are our indices. And if we want to draw a quad, we want to draw six indices. So let's just say that here we draw six indices one instance of that and the offsets we don't care we set it to zero because uh, yeah this is again a bit more advanced and if we try drawing that that will already actually crash and burn because we never bind the index buffer so and to bind that we of course need to create it uh, index buffers are created exactly like the vertex buffer uh, in, but instead of vertex we say that the usage is index so for that we need a byte size of indices. So we, let's just do it exactly the, the same way. Indices byte size equals len of indices multiplied by size of element of indices. 
like this, right? And then, yeah, we can maybe copy paste this. We can say instead of vertex, it's an index buffer. And here we say, yes, it's an index buffer. And the uh, right size of it is indices. Whoops, indices. And now we want to upload the data and we can use the same transfer buffer for that. We need a transfer buffer that uh, can accommodate uh, both index and vertex buffers. So the size of it should be just a sum of those. So indices and vertices by size. And for transferring, we want to copy indices as well. So that will be indices and indices by size. But for the destination, we want to pass a position in the memory that is uh, basically right after the vertices. And like in C, you would normally just do something like this. Uh, Odin doesn't allow this. But what we can do is actually use something called multipointers in Odin. Uh, and that is a bit safer version of C-like pointers that allow some uh, offsetting and stuff that uh, will be useful for us. So we say the type of it is multipointer to byte and we need to transmute it which is basically a, a, your reinterpretation cast that actually also checks for size of the value, but because the size of raw pointer is pointer size and the size of the multi-pointer is also pointer size, that should work, work just fine. And now what we can do here to specify the offset is simply use the slice syntax like that. So basically we copy vertices at the beginning and we copy indices uh, right after the vertices. So this is what we do for the transfer. And now we want to actually upload it to our index buff. So what we do with that is, yeah, well, we say upload to GPU buffer. The transfer buffer is the same, but the offset should be, of course, where we copy it, the uh, index data, and that would be right after the vertices, so vertex byte size. And then the buffer would be, of course, index buff, and the size is our indices byte size. Yeah, this should be, of course, U32. So now we have it in the GPU, actually uploaded to the correct buffer, hopefully. And that is actually mostly it. The last thing that we want to do before actually doing this is that we want to SDL bind GPU index buffer. So we do it similarly to the vertex buffer, but instead of uh, supporting binding of multiple uh, vertex buffers, we can only bind one. So there's just one binding and um, that would be buffer equals index buff. So the same structure. And here we need to specify the element size, which can be just one of the two, either 16 bits or 32 bits. And since we are using U16, we need to specify that the size here is 16 bits. And now if we run it, that seems to be working just fine. So yeah, this was pretty quick. Uh, next time we are gonna use texture mapping here. So we're gonna have a textured quote. Um, so stay tuned.